right, hello, and welcome to another episode of Faith in Home Buying. I'm riding solo today. Um, as I figure, uh, you know, I've had a lot of great um, calls from, from people just commenting on the, you know, the show and the real estate aspect, uh, and I'm extremely thankful. Um, and, but then one thing was prompted, uh, you know, to me to, to kind of discuss because I think newer viewers and people that really didn't, um, haven't been there with me since the beginning um, to know a little bit about my background. Uh, so I, 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 I do real estate, yes. Uh, however, I, my start in the industry um, wasn't you know, strictly in, in, in real estate. And I think it's poignant just you know, in this time, like to, to discuss because you know, with, with things happening with shelter in place and things closing back up, you know, a lot of our plans that we, we, we make, uh, we think are gonna go one way. <laughs> But then all of a sudden, you know, curveballs hit, life happens, and we end up having a different shift in the way in which we think that life is supposed to go. Um, and it is not to say that it's a bad thing, but it is a, a lesson I've learned to just kind of go with it, right? Like in situations and kind of like Paul talks about just being content, being content whether I have or whether I don't, being content in the current situation you know, that I'm, that I'm, that I'm in learning from it, not, not stunting myself and growing, but learning, okay, this is my season right now. Let me do 110% and get everything that I need from it, because I know the way God works, this is going to be beneficial for me sometime in my future. Um, so that being said, like I got started in, in like the, just the construction industry, the real estate industry um, in 2001. And a lot of people don't know that I started off as a carpenter apprentice and it didn't happen by, oh, me searching something out and, hey, this is what I want to be. No, it was literally, you know, I, I came back from, you know, college and, uh, you know, kind of partied myself out of school. So I, I was in, but I wasn't. I uh, came back to California and my, my dad actually, he had a newspaper clipping that he showed me and he was like, have you thought about this? And, you know, just here, read this. And so as I'm reading it, I'm like, wow, you know, they're looking for females um, in the United Brotherhood of Carpenters Union and, out of San Jose. And hey, you know, we'll train you. There's an apprenticeship program. Just check it out. And so I did, went and uh, checked it out and I was hooked. Uh, one of the things that I love to do and people that knew me, you know, just doesn't know me and just, I love to work with my hands and I love to build uh, like furniture or just different, different, different things. I love to work with my hands. Even as a young kid, I did. And my dad knew that too. And so going in and um, learning about um, carpentry and this apprenticeship program was like the catalyst for myself to just completely change, you know, number one, my outlook and my path in life. Um, and who would have thought? Um, I, I loved it. You know, I, I didn't start off in the easiest part of the trade because there's, there's many different tr um, um, avenues that you can go in construction. But for myself, I started off in um, bridge building. So heavy timber, building overpasses and bridges, the big, big stuff. Uh, I started off, and at the time, I probably only weighed about, like a buck 20. Uh, you know, this young black girl just got saved, actually, too, uh, coming in with the construction industry, and I loved every bit of it. Um, it challenged me uh, in ways in which, you know, I had to dig deep, and it challenged me in ways of being specifically a woman uh, in a male-dominated uh, field, it challenged me to, to use my mind in different ways because I couldn't use my body in, in certain ways because, you know, I mean, I, I wasn't as strong as everyone, but it, it challenged me to think outside the box and how I do things and how I view life and still get the same results, if not better, right? Um, it, it challenged me in a way, too, where it was something completely different, you know, especially in this particular type of, of field. There wasn't a whole lot of women at all. I was usually the only female on my crew, but... Um, but I've met, and it challenged me too, in order to, to, to bring people into my sphere that I would have never met before in my life. And I've met some of the most amazing, amazing people, um, men that is, uh, that, you know, society in a lot of ways, you wouldn't see how brilliant they are, maybe because they don't have a, uh, you know, a customary, you know, white collar job, but 
they were extremely um, smart, extremely um, passionate about what they um, did. And, you know, even though it was a, a bridge putting together like an overpass, it's not like you're going to stop and kind of like check to see if something is level or check to see if something is straight, right? Like if you're driving on the freeway, but it was the pride of knowing that you're putting your hand to something and you're, you're, you're building something. And even though the regular world won't see it or anyone else around you won't see it, the fact that the integrity of, of, of the, your work matters, you know, the integrity of uh, what you put your hands to matters, you know, um, making sure things are straight, making sure even though no one's going to see it. And it, it taught me so much about um, just being able to um, have integrity when no one's looking, right? Um, it, it taught me a lot too about prayer <laughs> because believe me, there would be times where I'm, I'm going through body aching, hurting, and I just said, okay, I want to quit and it's hot, you know, or if it's raining, you know, or just muddy and just, it taught me a lot, you know, so all that saying, um, you know, it, it was a start in, in, in life that did start off my career, but it didn't end there, you know, it, it started there, but it also transferred me to, to have a passion for going and building homes uh, for the homeless in uh, Tijuana, Mexico. And I did a little bit of things also too over in um, Peninsula Habitat for Humanity with women's builds and people around in, in, in the area as well. But that experience going somewhere, you know, we, we traveled, you know, from, from here over there via um, car caravan and going there to, to wait for, you know, a family was waiting for us. They would have a pad of, of, of concrete and they would wait for us to come and build their home. Some of them were waiting for, for weeks, some months um, being homeless. And that experience catapulted me to, to, to just a whole nother mindset on how I want to serve in my life. And who would have thought, you know, by just saying yes to a little newspaper ad that, you know, not only would I have a passion for wanting to, you know, see families um, and hand keys over to, to, to families, um, but it would also catapult me to finding my career in real estate. Um, I was one of those that I, I love the idea of handing over the keys uh, at the end when we were finished with the whole house and just seeing the whole family light up or if they had kids, you know, running into seeing their home. Now, granted, we didn't have any running water or what there wasn't any electricity Actually, there was because we pulled it from the tower and then we had electricians there that would hook up the lights. So we had lights, uh, but there was no running water and no plumbing, but you know, huge loft with you know, rooms and kind of a, a, an area for. Um, so it's like it's like a tiny house right now, it's kind of a little bit bigger status than a tiny house. And that's a thing now. So we were doing those uh, back in 2001, 2002, 2004. Um, but it, 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 it showed me that if you just say yes sometimes and take a risk on, um, um, on you know, your life or take a risk on doing something different outside of your scope of things, you'd be surprised at what you can find and who you can find and the people that you can find. You know, and hence that ended up catapulting me uh, onto to real estate and you know, uh, taking what I've, I've learned and what I've done because I've worked for Pulte Homes, brand new home buildings, you know, installing cabinetry and vanities and stuff. So it, it, it took me from doing those things and to where I'm at now and when I see certain workmanship, when I see um, craftsmanship or when I see things out with my clients, I can pretty much assess uh, a lot of um, a lot of things. Of course, I'm not a professional, can't, 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 you know, hang my hat on that because that's not the function that I'm serving in right now. Right. But I can say this, that it, it has helped me and with my clients and, and speaking about certain things and um, going forward uh, with um, maybe certain decisions um, that they need to make uh, in order to, to 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 maybe proceed forward with a with the sale of a you know with the with the purchase of a home that they probably wouldn't have never um, uh, went forward with you know risk factor that kind of thing and I find that even in my last um, some of my last clients, uh, even even that particular skill came into to play. And I'll talk about it in the next segment though, but because I, I have some highlights of um, stories that I just want to share. Um, I, I, I get the opportunity to meet some amazing people, amazing clients. And I'll tell anyone, um, I don't care who you are. Like I will let you know that my clients are probably some of the best individuals, some of the best 
people, humans, uh, you know, that this world has to offer. And I mean that and I'll stand by it. Um, but um, I have some stories to, to share with some of my clients, um, some big wins that have happened. I mean, there's been so many wins that have happened like this whole year, but um, to share some of those, um, those wins and you know, coming up towards the end of the year, um, I think it's gonna help somebody um, to understand that, you know, you know, even though it's hard times and even though things are kind of happening around us, you know, I think sometimes hearing wins from situations that you would have never thought would help encourage and bring encouragement. Uh, let me discuss some wins that have happened uh, recently. Um, God, there's, there's so many, um, you know, probably next week, I'll probably talk about some, some more uh, wins as well. But some of the ones I do want to highlight is uh, when you talk about timing, timing is everything and patience is everything too. And I tell you what, if at all you've asked for patience or prayed for patience in any other way, and then you want to try to buy a home, well, let, let me tell you that that's probably one of the things that you're going to have to experience and go through and God uh, kind of guiding directing and just letting you know that ahead of time. But, um, you know, one couple I want to highlight, I, I really love their, their story because you know, when we first started, you know, it was, it was right when, you know, things were happening, shelter in place was, were, were, was happening and, you know, they, they weren't finding, you know, the homes that they, they, they wanted. Um, and so they paused the shirt, their search. Well, in the midst of that pause, um, things happened and actually changed for the better as far as job, as far as different, you know, different things happening with income. So that was great. Um, what also happened too is what's was unique about their situation that you had friends that were wanting to move, you know, to a different area. Um, and this is specifically in Oakland. And the friends, you know, which were great friends and, you know, the home price, you know, that they were going to sell it at kind of like an off market deal um, was right in the right in the wheelhouse of where my clients needed to be in order to purchase. Um, the beauty about it was we were able to um, uh, complete a deal where my clients end up moving into their house, purchasing and moving into their house with their VA loan. That was where the, the, the hard part was because in Oakland having a VA loan, you know, again, it's not easy. You know, those that know me know that I love my niche of VA um, buyers, my veterans and VA loans. And, you know, truth be told, you know, when you have areas like Oakland, specifically because area has, you know, sidewalk ordinances, they have sewer lateral um, ordinances that you got to get, you know, complete, completed. Granted, that stuff is a little bit delayed right now until the next year. But still, these are things that you have to take into consideration. It's not just a straight sale. Um, but that being said, they were able to find a perfect uh, house for them that actually has room for expansion uh, in uh, Oakland in the area. And, you know, hey, was able to actually help another uh, veteran get into a, a home um, that I'm super, super proud of. I'm super um, just excited for them and their, their family in the new uh, season and they were able to have a holiday closing. So they're able to have their holiday closing with their kids uh, inside the home that they're currently um, living in now. And so that was a big um, a plus because for, for, for it, it looked like they were going to have to wait until next year, but God uh, opened up another opportunity. Um, so always be looking for opportunities because you never know when it's going to happen. And I'm telling you, and I've heard, I've said this many of times, home ownership comes um, in different forms sometimes. Sometimes it is a straight resale. Sometimes it may be a new construction. Sometimes it may be a, a, a trust, uh, um, you know, where, where someone um, hands you over a home or you inherit a, a property. It could be any type of ways in which home ownership happens. Doesn't matter, welcome it all. It could be a friend that's about to move that says, hey, you know what, you wanna buy our house? And you say, yes, you know, it could be that too. So always, always continue to um, stay open to how God wants you to move. But most importantly, make sure you're set up in a, in, in a way that when it happens, when the door opens of opportunity, you can run through it. They were already, you know, they, they were already there. So, you know, they, she had started, you know, probably about a couple of months beforehand. So they were ready to move when the time came, when the miracle you know, happen. So make sure you prepare yourself. And what does that mean? Preparing that's getting yourself and getting your house in order per se, 
you know, that's getting um, everything together with your, your finances, getting everything together with um, talking to a mortgage consultant, talking to a, a realtor so they can um, send you in the right direction so that you can get set up for success. So that was one. Um, another win, um, and this year has been a really great year, but another win has been um, a young, uh, young, uh, young lady that I met when she was a teenager. And, you know, I had kind of just been saved a little the beginning. I was a leadership leader in my church and, you know, and just basically having kind of a, like a mentor type of relationship. Well, she ended up getting, you know, older and, you know, kind of went our separate ways. She got married, you know, kid. And, you know, we met up later on in life. And, you know, she had some major changes and events that have happened inside her, her, her life at the time. But she was so, um, uh, uh, wanting to purchase a home. And so when she came to me uh, with, with a plan of what she wanted to do, we finally kind of figured out what would be the best option for her. And what did she know, her being an educator, you know, single mom, you know, at the time uh, as well. And, you know, not coming from a whole lot of money, no family helping her, no, none of that. Um, wouldn't you believe there was a home waiting for her? Uh, and it, it's 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 amazing to even 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 think that yes in this market um you know someone who you know doesn't make you know an exuberant amount of money is according to our bay area standards but they're able to find themselves a house a nice two bedroom two bath it's in san leandro in the east bay uh and for her and her daughter and i look at that and you know the persistence in the saying that you know I'm going to make this happen, the tenacity, and having the right team um, around saying, okay, look, this is how we're going to structure it, and this is how it's going to work. She ends up getting a house, and you know it's the one of many I'm sure that she's looking at even right now in order to get. But you know it it, it started her off in her first number one home, and then also investment property. I'm super proud of her. Uh, but again, there's stories like this when people think that, oh, well, I have a certain limited income. It's, it's never going to happen for me. And I have news for you. Where there's a will, there's a way. And, you know, I, I, I truly believe in, you know, if, if, if you really, if you want it and you seek it out and you set yourself up for it in order to have the blessing for it to come, it will come. And, you know, I'm, I'm a firm believer of what we speak and um, how you speak. Why? Because it's just a big old life and death comes out your tongue. And if you say it's not going to happen, well, you know what? It probably won't. Uh, so, you know, again, I'm, I'm, I'm super proud of her. And that was one of a recent um, sell um, that has um, happened. And um, like I said, she's already on to her next one. And, and it's just the, the miracle about it. I, I think the miracle about it is that the fact that her, her situation, her overall makeup, the society says, oh, you can't do it. Or, oh, prices are too high. Oh, sh this just won't even happen, right? And so um, I'm, I'm extremely thankful for her and um, uh, the best is yet to come for her and her family. And so that's two. And so, and there's, there's another one too. And this one, we were not close quite yet, but this is just a recent one that, you know, just gives me all the feels. It, it really does. And they're um, clients of mine that were referred to me by another super awesome, amazing couple. And, you know, we had been on a hunt for ooh, about three, uh, two months. And, you know, average time of people looking for homes, probably about the, you know, about the eight, six to eight month um, range. And, you know, usually you're putting in maybe about an average of, you know, overall average, maybe about five, five or so um, offers. And um, a lot of times, you know, just coming from a realtor um, perspective, you know, I know what it takes to kind of win, you know, listening to the agent, listening to different things, you know what it takes to win. However, particular markets are very, very competitive. So you can't just come in, you know, hey, this is what you need. Sometimes you can, but this is what you need to do in order to buy a home. And a lot of it's very, very, unless you're a risk taking person, it can be very, very scary in order to do. Uh, that being said, you know, we missed out on a couple of homes, um, you know, in, in the beginning that they, they were light, uh, but the terms and the price point, they weren't there. However, you know, we were testing out the waters, testing out the waters. And as an agent, sometimes I have to do that. I have to test out the water and I have to see, okay, what is your threshold for you to purchase on a property? Especially if I know an area is a little bit more of a higher price and I know that they come in non-contingent or they don't really have a lot of contingencies or ways out 
ultimately you're purchasing the house, you see the reports, you're purchasing it as is and moving forward with the purchase of the home, taking whatever needs to happen to the home that happens later on as it's yours and you know, you've know you already counted the costs. Um, so I'm super excited you know, with this particular um, couple because we finally, after four rejected offers, and yes, I get rejected, okay? But after four rejected offers, I kid you not, the, the most perfect house for them uh, came and they got accepted. Uh, you know, it still was a multiple offer situation. And so much so that, you know, the, the, the couple, they had argued about, you know, accepting or not. And they didn't even counter with a higher price. It was uh, an amazing um, moment for my clients because honestly, everything that we've seen, you know, they were good. They were good. And if they would have gotten to a great, but honestly, I think this one fits them better. And I think they think so too. Uh, with a wonderful view of Oakland. And I, 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 I just, I look at things like this that happen and maybe I'm not giving you the best justice, but man, um, it just goes to show that um, you just, you never know what's around the corner. And I, I think that the, the big point to, for me today and hopefully to share with somebody is that you know, you never know what's around the corner. Sometimes it's okay to take a risk. Um, sometimes it's okay to not to know what's around the corner, but to trust and believe, God, you have me. And to trust and believe that what I'm going into next is, is for my benefit. And I'm going to walk with it with my head up high, believing that, God, if it's not meant to happen, shut the door. So I'll go through another one. Um, but I'm willing. I'm willing and I'm wanting. Um, so yeah, leave you with that. And that's my 30 minutes pretty much. Uh, but again, thank you for tuning into Faith and Home Buying. And I just really, um, just I just, I hope that this year can be a blessing for you the rest of this year, all things being considered. Remember, you can catch me on real estate underscore T at TikTok, uh, Tamika Ellsworth uh, on Instagram, or you can call me 408-561-7922. Faith and Home Buying, this is Tamika Ellsworth. And thank you again until next time.